Hey everybody, Brandy from Pafford Homestead here in the kitchen today and I am going to be making a pancake sheet pan. Whoop. A pancake Sorry. sheet pan with maple syrup, sugar free maple syrup, bacon and sausage. And we're going to go step by step even making the pancake batter from scratch. So hope you enjoyed this recipe. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Share me out a little. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. So let's get to it. We're gonna start off with cutting up four strips of bacon. I have bacon grease right now in my pot, my pan, my frying pan, not pot, to get hot to fry up the bacon. So I have my four pieces of bacon here in the pan. I'm gonna fry these up crispy. So everybody has heard of McDonald's McGriddles. Well, this is what it's gonna be like. I'm gonna uh, put it in the oven and bake it once it's all put together and then cut it up and you can freeze it, eat it for breakfast, eat it for snacks, give it to the kids, give it to your chickens if you want. Nah. It's called food. We eat that, right? So, um, yeah, it's just a good breakfast thing, and it stores really easy. Like I said, you can freeze it, but it's not going to last too long, so I'm not going to have to freeze it. But you're going to take four slices of bacon, cut it up, and a half a pack, I mean a half a pound of Jimmy, D so Jimmy Dean breakfast sausage, if I could talk right today, um, a sheet pan with parchment paper, your pancake batter, which I'm going to make that here in just a few minutes and let y'all see how I make my pancake batter from scratch, and syrup. And then you just take and preheat your oven to 425 degrees. And once it's all put together, you're going to bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes until the pancake batter is done. So I'm going to let this bacon cook up, and then we'll start on the sausage. Okay, so I got my bacon done, put to the side, and now I'm going to do my half pound of breakfast sausage. I drained off some of the bacon grease in my pan, left some. There we go. So now I'm going to get this browned up and get it set to the side. And what I'm using is the maple Jimmy Dean's breakfast sausage. For those of you that does not have one of these, you need to get one. I love mine. To me, it was the best investment we have made, one of the best investments we have made for my kitchen. Our kitchen, boy. He does get in here and cook too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brown up this sausage and then I'm gonna set it to the side and then we're gonna start on the pancake batter. So, see you in a minute. Okay, so for my pancake recipe, all I do is add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, three and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one cup of milk, and the reason why it's not one and a half cup of milk, because you'll find out here in just a minute. So one cup of milk, three tablespoons of butter melted, one egg, and a half cup of syrup. We use sugar-free syrup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I got my flour in here, and then I have my baking powder, my salt, and my sugar here. So I'm gonna pour this in here. 
Get all of that down in there. And I'm gonna mix these together, get them all incorporated together. So be right back. Okay, so it's all mixed together. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add my melted butter. My milk, turn it on low. I'm going to stop this just for a second, scrape down the sides, because you don't have to overbeat pancake batter. So now, since I added my cup of milk, my butter, and my one egg, I'm going to add a half a cup of syrup. And like I said, I'm using sugar-free syrup. And this is what makes your McGriddles. So let's mix that together. Stirred in. And I'm just using my little mixer today. I'm not using my big old kitchen aid. I didn't need that. Mix it just for a minute more. that's good and mixed what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your sheet pan remember I told y'all y'all needed a sheet pan well you're gonna line that sheet pan with parchment paper now, let me get this reset up so what I have here is just a regular cookie sheet pan just a thin one. Then I put my parchment paper down. And I'm just gonna pour in the uh, pancake batter. Okay, so all you're gonna do now is just make sure that your parchment paper is laying. And just pour in your pancake batter. Okay, and you can take and spread it out on your sheet. Spread it out kind of evenly, if you can. Okay, 
and once it's pretty much evenly spread out, as flat as you can get it, then you're gonna start taking your sausage and your bacon. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and spread your sausage first. Generously. Make sure you use all of your sausage and all of your bacon. Now you're gonna crumble your bacon. You can add more than four pieces of bacon if you want. I just don't because I crumble my bacon. So really you don't need to, but you can. It's all up to you. People like Baconators, so. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this sheet pan and we're gonna put it in the oven at 425 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes until it's done. So see you in a minute. Okay, so I've got it out of the oven now. It's all nice and brown and cooked all the way through. So what we're gonna let it do is cool until it's completely cooled and then we're gonna cut it. Be back. Okay, so it's already cooled off, and what I'm gonna do is I got a pizza cutter here, and I'm gonna take and just cut it. You know what? I'm here. Okay, so just cut it. I'm not a straight shot cut. <laughs> of course, it would help if I take the pot holders out, right? So now I just take and cut it again. Straight down the middle. And look at that. There it is. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make me an autumn one and make Charlie one. Cause I know he's gonna wanna taste this too. And then I'll take and freeze it or put it in the refrigerator for um, snacks and breakfast and stuff for this week. So, if you like this video and if you haven't already, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, please. And also, keep on homesteading because that's all we can do. Love y'all. Bye. Okay, so I'm here for the taste test. I got us each a piece. And I got us some syrup, syrup. that we're gonna try. Ooh. I'm just gonna put a little syrup in the plate so we can dip it in there. <laughs> she gotta taste it. Yeah. You gotta dip put it in, in the, the syrup. syrup. It's delicious. It's delicious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she says okay. it's delicious. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, I think so I need a bigger bag than that, honey. We're going to test it. Mm-hmm. That is good. Yeah, very good. Pancake mm -hmm. with bacon, huh? <laughs> bacon, bacon, syrup, and sausage. So, here's another video from Papford Homestead Kitchen. He just got syrup all over the floor. <laughs> well, sorry. So, love y'all. Keep yeah. on homesteading. Yeah, homesteading. Bye. Bye-bye.